I heard that you dropped Kanye. Can you clear that up from from your tour? How did that How did that come apart? You know, I didn't drop Kanye. Okay, Kanye and I are friends. We're still friends. We sat down, and I'm sure you guys know because mm-hmm. you all all have you know really good friends. When you're really friends with somebody, you can make difficult decisions, and we made a very difficult decision. It was hard on both of us, but you know when we were talking, I said, you know even though this isn't happening right now, I'm going to still go out on the road. And he said, great, and I support you. And he's been, you know, very supportive. And, uh, you know, uh, the good news is I'm playing just as many people in each city than I would have played on Fame Kills, but the ticket price is much lower. (laughs) We like that. We're okay with that. That's and a good thing. And the show is just as exp- it's what, got- really expensive. You know, I'm I'm doing what I always do, which is I, I you know I go bankrupt. <laughs> I go bankrupt <laughs> on my shows, and uh, I wanted see the the difference between you know someone like myself and someone that's you know three or four albums deep is I'm I'm still new, and and my fans are so amazing and so loyal. They're they're not normal like top forty radio fans. Yeah. They're they're like crazy punk rock fans. And they got like they have got me tattooed all over them and they come with lightning bolts and wigs and they're throwing glitter and they're fainting all over the place. You know, they're like the coolest kids in the world. So I guess I thought to myself when we were planning the Monster Ball, I said they must think I saw this bitch for twenty bucks last year, and now she's gonna charge me two hundred dollars. Like I can't. Like I, I don't want to be that girl, and I, I want them to come see a brilliant, amazing, life-changing show, and I want them to not have to pay too much money to do it because the economy's bad.